It's a featherweight matchup between Frankie Edgar and Cub Swanson. Hey guys, my name's Connor from the UK Gaming Bureau, and welcome to our EA Sports UFC 3 simulation and prediction of Frankie Edgar vs. Cub Swanson 2. So to start us off, we're going to have a look at Frankie Edgar's record. He's coming into this fight with a record of 22 wins, 6 losses, 1 draw, and he is 2-2 two two in his last 4 fights. Now his most recent fight was a short notice fight against Brian Ortega where he was finished for a first time by knockout. Before that he had a TKO win over Yara Rodriguez, he had a decision win over Jeremy Stevens, and before that he lost a unanimous decision to Jose Aldo. Now prior to his last fight, Frank Yeager had had 9 fights at featherweight, and the only time he had ever lost was against the champion at the time, Jose Aldo. Of course that changed in his last fight where he lost by knockout to Brian Ortega. It's worth noting that fight he was supposed to be fighting Max Holloway for the title, but Holloway had to pull out due to an ankle injury, and Brian Ortega stepped in at the last moment. What does worry me about this fight for Frankie Edgar is that the knockout to Brian Ortega happened on March 3rd, and the fight is only going to be about 6 weeks after that knockout. Now whenever you get knocked out in a fight, you're normally concussed, and it can take you know, around 6 to 9 months to really truly recover from that and get back into fighting shape. So the fact that he's stepping in in less than 2 months, after he's just been knocked out for the first time as well, might not bode well for him. That being said, even despite his recent setback, Frank Yeager still does have a great record, and arguably, coming into this fight, his most important fight was actually a 2014 win over Cub Swanson. He won by net crank at 4 minutes 59 seconds of the 5th round. So now let's have a look at Cub Swanson's record. Cub Swanson has come into this fight with a record of 25 wins, 8 losses, and he is 4-1 in his last 5 fights with his last fight coming to Brian Ortega and was a submission loss in the second round. So very interestingly, this fight, actually both of them their last fight, they lost to Brian Ortega. Frank Yeager by knockout and Cub Swanson by submission. Now before the Brian Ortega loss, he had a win over Artem Lobov in the main event. He had a win over Duho Choi in the fight of the year. He had a win over Tatsuya Kawajiri and a win over Hakran Diaz. And all of those wins came by the way of unanimous decision. So before the Brian Ortega loss, Cub Swanson had been on a bit of a roll. People were thinking maybe he would get the title shot with one more big win. Unfortunately, he didn't get that win over Ortega. But if he can get a win over Frank Yeager here, he'll throw his name right into that bucket for the title shot. So now we're going to look at how they match up. Frank Yeager is more of a wrestle boxer. But depending on who he's fighting, he'll either keep it standing on the feet and use his speed, especially his jabs and his hooks. He's very good at those. He's also been implementing leg kicks recently as well. So he can do that, but he also has one of the greatest double legs at the lowest weight divisions and he can take down nearly anyone, and he has taken down pretty much everyone that he's fought, the exception of Brian Ortega and Jose Aldo. Frank Yeager wasn't really known for his ground and pound before, but ever since the third BJ Penn fight, he has been far more aggressive when he's on top, throwing elbows, throwing strikes, and trying to finish the fight when he's on top, either with strikes or with submissions. The big question mark over Frank Yeager in this fight is how is his chin going to be, how is his recovery going to be? Because as I mentioned, when you get knocked out for the first time, it's easier to get knocked out the second time, easier to get knocked out the third time, etc. And the fact that he's coming in so quickly after his knockout loss is a bit worrying, because you have to feel like his chin won't be anywhere near as good as it used to be. That being said, when he fought Cub Swanson the first time back in 2014, he completely out-wrestled him, he controlled him on the ground, he was beating him up with ground and hound. Cub Swanson really didn't even get in much offense in that fight, and he was eventually choked out in the very last second of the fifth round. I kind of like Frank Yeager, Cub Swanson is a very well-rounded mixed martial artist. He's very good on the feet, he has great throws, and he's got very good submissions and ground and pound as well. In his last few fights against Duho Choi and Artem Lobov, we've mainly seen him on the feet, especially even the Duho Choi fight, that was an absolute barn burner. They're just standing in front of each other and just throwing bombs, just having a complete brawl and Cub Swanson came out on top. Against Artem Lobov, he was more picking him apart with the striking and completely dominated that fight as well. Something that I think may actually help Cub Swanson is that he has fought him and lost to him previously. As bad as that loss is, he has experienced what it's like to have Frankie Edgar on top of you. He's experienced the speed, he's seen the timing. He knows what it's going to be like, as opposed to the first time where he wasn't too sure. So I think, win or lose, he's going to have a much better performance here than he did in that five-round domination that Frankie Edgar put on him back in 2014. So there's two X-factors I see in this fight. The first one is going to be the fact that it's only three rounds. Both of these guys have great cardio. Because once and known that this fight is only three rounds compared to their first fight, which is five rounds, I feel like it would be an advantage for him. I feel like he's going to start off very, very strong. And if he can win those early rounds, the first two rounds, then he should be a shoe in to win. The other X factor, which I've already mentioned a lot, is going to be how is Frank Yeager's chin. If Frank Yeager's chin is like it always was, 
I would instantly give him the advantage in this fight. But if his chin has deteriorated, if he can't take the shots like he used to be able to, if he's come back too quickly, I think it could potentially be a short night for Frankie Edgar. So prediction time. Frankie Edgar is a very smart fighter. He has great fight IQ. And I think he knows that jumping in this quickly, his chin isn't going to be quite where it was. So I, I don't think he's going to really risk standing in this fight. I think he's just going to go for a takedown as early as he can and as often as he can. I think he's going to want to keep Cub Swanson on his back because he's not going to get knocked out if they're on the ground. Cub Swanson, on the other hand, I think is going to want to do the opposite thing. I think he might actually want to try and pull him into a brawl, sort of like he did with Duho Choi, and just start swinging at each other. Because even though Cub Swanson doesn't have the greatest knockout power in the world, he's definitely going to have enough power to put out Frankie Edgar, especially with it only being a month since he last got knocked out. So for me, the real question is, will Frankie Edgar be able to keep Cub Swanson down? Can he get him down repeatedly? And when he's on top, will he be able to keep him down? And from what I've seen for both fighters, the answer to that is going to be yes. Frank Yeager has done it to him before. He's also done it to people like BJ Penn. He's done it to Duho Choi. In fact, most people other than Brian Ortega and Jose Aldo, Frank Yeager has been able to take down, keep down, and he's been able to pound them out and go for submissions. And they've looked defenseless off their back. And I believe he can do the same thing to Cub Swanson. I feel like in this fight, Cub Swanson's going to have to make the most of the time on the feet. He can't be looking for takedowns himself. If he gets taken down, I think he needs to try and get back up. Don't be looking for submissions. Don't be striking off your back. Just be looking to try and get up so you can get back on the feet and really test Frankie's chin. When it comes to the prediction, as I said, I believe Frankie will be able to take him down. He'll be the one dictating where the fight takes place. And in a fight like this, this bat is absolutely huge. So because of that, I'm going to go with a Frankie Edgar unanimous decision win. So on our EA Sports UFC 3 simulation of Frankie Edgar vs Cub Swanson, we had a Frankie Edgar submission win by guillotine choke at 3 minutes 15 seconds of the second round. And if you're planning on watching this fight, let us know in the comments down below, either on YouTube, Facebook or Twitter, and let us know your prediction and we can see if anyone gets it right after the fight. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below, and as always, to see more videos coming soon, please subscribe to the channel.